Hello, welcome to Arida's Kitchen, the Czech cooking show made in America with love. Uh, today's topic or today's uh, cooking project will be a garlic dip uh, for the garlic lovers, for garlic lovers rejoice, for the people who are afraid of vampires, uh, the people who love garlic in their life because they think it's healthy, because it is healthy. Uh, for anybody who just loves garlic or anybody who wants to kill the other people with the garlic bread, it's, which is going to be very possible after you eat this garlic dip. Uh, it's such a strong garlic dip that it will literally knock your socks off. See? No socks. And uh, it is actually that powerful that it, even you might grow some chest hair. See? Like me. Getting uh, no chest hair there. It's just a t-shirt. But it is really powerful garlic dip. Um, in Czech Republic we call it Česnekovka. And it's one of my uh, favorite uh, dips to bring to a party uh, or appetizer. Um, and then everybody's gotta eat it because there is not, if there's one person who is not willing to eat it, then they will suffer because everybody else will smell like garlic. But um, the truth is that if you eat parsley after you eat garlic, it will actually kill, kind of kill the, the garlic bread. So, um, what we will need for the garlic for Chesnikovka? We'll need the cream cheese, uh, we will need the pepper jack cheese because. Uh, Combining jalapeno cheese with uh, garlic is the best combination ever and it makes it even more powerful. So we'll need about four ounces. This is an eight ounce package, uh, but we'll grate only four ounces of that. A stick of butter. Uh, I have steak seasoning because technically it's just salt and pepper and uh, red pepper uh, combined. And I'm just too lazy to eat all each. So steak seasoning, that's what I use. Um, otherwise there is just a regular black pepper and a little bit of mayo. So first we're going to grate uh, four ounces of the cheese, which is going to look just like this. So we've grated the four ounces of the pepper jack cheese, and we also squeezed about 20, not squeezed, we uh, used the garlic press, and uh, we used the, uh, we squeezed about 20 garlic cloves, which is about two heads of garlic. Uh, you can do less, you can do more, if you are daring, uh, that's up to you. So we're going to combine those two things, uh, the cheese and uh, the garlic. Uh, we're going to put them in a bowl. We're going to add the stick of butter. Okay, which is, you're going to leave the stick of butter outside. So it's going to be a uh, room temperature. Stick of butter. And then you're going to add the cream cheese, which is also going to be left outside for a little bit, so it's room temperature, so it's nice and soft, and um, you can mix it all well. So we added the cream cheese, so uh, we have butter, we have uh, pepper jack cheese, and we have garlic. Now we're going to add uh, one and uh, two spoonfuls of mayo, and uh, we're going to add just the uh, seasoning. And we're going to mix it all. That, that's pretty much all what it is to it. Nice thick seasoning and we'll mix it all. And we're going to mix it uh, all. I'm just using a hand uh, mixer. Okay, this is what it uh, looks like after it's all mixed up. Um, it was just blended, uh, nicely blended. Uh, and uh, you're going to use uh, cut up uh, French bread and you're going to just put it on there just like this little layer on that and you can decorate it with a um, pickle you can put a pickle uh, just a slice of pickle on top you can put a, a slice of kobasa or salami you can put a walnut on top of that like the, um, it's very good with walnuts also or you don't have to put anything on it just eat it just like this uh, this is the exact amount of garlic for me which is perfect um, for some people it might be too strong, um, for some people it might not be enough, so you can always add garlic if you want. Uh, it's really powerful, so careful when you eat it, make sure that after that you either put a mask on, <laughs> um, brush your teeth, use a mouthwash, uh, uh, parsley and uh, stay at least 12 feet away from everybody because uh, this is something. So it's actually a great uh, COVID prevention, right? Uh, you might also think why uh, I didn't make any videos for the last year. Well, it's because COVID. 
and my kids were here at all times. I mean, seriously, at all times. So I never had a time to myself. And this is the first time my kids love me. I'm all by myself. So making this uh, video, this uh, yummy thing, so I can go wild, I can go party. You can see already dressed up to go wild. Um, and um, that's it. Uh, enjoy, like, subscribe, uh, Ask me any questions uh, in, my, in the comments. Uh, if you want to know something else how to make, we usually make a rohliki, like a bread rolls with that, instead of a French bread. They are smaller, so they are already circular. I make them once in a while, but um, I don't know. I don't know what the next video will be. Just, I'll surprise you. Depends how long my kids will be gone. Uh, there'll be more videos, possibly. You never know. So, you want to babysit my kids? You want to uh, take care of my kids? Take them, I'll be making more videos. Uh, thank you for watching, enjoy. Mm -hmm. I know I should go further right because you can probably smell it now so let me just shut it up thank you so much thank you for watching mm -hmm. yum yum yum